Today we're going to show you how to take this into a stable shot like this. Hey everybody, welcome to Make Movies Now. My name is Charles, I'm your host, and today's tutorial we're going to take a look at using a tracker tool to track and stabilize the shots in DaVinci Resolve 16.2.2. A couple different ways you can stabilize your shot. You can use it in the edit page that we're in today. You can also stabilize it in the color tab. But the way we're going to show you how to do it today is we're going to use the fusion tab below. So what you'll need is a shot that's not so steady. Space bar. You show it's kind of all over the place. You know, stabilizer being used. I want to stabilize that shot in the middle of the frame. So right click on our clip in the timeline here. Go into the Fusion page. Once we're in a Fusion page, once we're in the Fusion page, uh, you see this clip that we're going to stabilize here. What we're going to use is a node called a Tracker node. So click on your Media One In, which is our media input. Click Shift Space Bar to bring up our Tools list. We're going to look for a Tracker node. The tracker node, if you can see here, it's already been connected to our line. And if you click on the tracker node, we're going to look for a couple of areas on the frame in the shot that we want to track to stabilize it. So I want this sign to be kind of in the middle of the shot. But we, what you'll see here is the tracker point that we're trying to use. There's two different uh, areas that we're. You, there's two different. <laughs> There's two different boxes here that are important to know. This middle box is going to be the actual area that you're trying to track. So you'll put this on the corner here. And then the outside, the dotted line, is going to be where is this spot that we're trying to track going to be in the overall frame. So if you have something that's moving around a lot, you just have to move the dotted line a little bit uh, throughout the frame to show where that spot's going to be. The larger the dotted uh, window, the more it's going to use on your computer. So you want to keep it a little bit concise here. And then it's also recommended to get a good track is to use a couple different points. And so here, just because it's a, a rectangle square, we're going to add a few different points to track. Uh, it's recommended to have at least three or four at a minimum. And you want to try to have either fine detail area or something that's highly, uh, that has high contrast to track. So we'll just click this here, this middle uh, box. We'll move it over to the points that we want to track. Make sure your uh, beginning point is, is at the beginning of the timeline. On the right, under the Inspector tab, you're going to click over here to start the track, and it'll do its thing. And then you'll see this pop up. This just means the track has been completed. Just click OK. If you're new to video editing, new to Venture Resolve, you're going to see all those little white dots here. These are all keyframes that the system has saved. And you can see it here where the actual track was, this little line uh, with the green line here. So go back to the beginning of the frame. Again, what we're trying to do, oops, is stabilize the shots. So click on space. Again, you can kind of show things all over the place. So on the right side again, we're going to go out under the Operations tab. Operation, we're going to go to Match Move. And then Merge, we're going to do Background Only. Go to the beginning of your uh, clip, press Spacebar, and you'll see that the shot of the sign is now in the middle. And then you'll see all this other spot on the right here is where the tracker has gone kind of off of the frame, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit. So in order to fix that, because that'll show up as, as a black line when you actually bring it into um, your other tabs, we're going to click on the tracker tool here, click on shift spacebar again, and we're going to look for a transform node. And the transform knows a way that we can change the sizing of the shot. And again, new to Vintage Resolve, you'll see here this has already been added to the node tree. If for some reason this isn't added, if it comes up here and you want to add it, you kind of hover over it, you can move it around. You want to hover it over the line, but you'll notice that nothing's changing. So you click it, hover it, and you're going to click on uh, the shift tab 
on your keyboard and you'll see the colors change. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> you'll lift off on your uh, mouse and you'll see now it's connected. So the transform node, we can kind of change the sizing, change the scale a little bit here. So just for, for kicks, we'll see what this looks like. Now that it's been stabilized, you can see a bit more apparent here. So to fix that, we're just going to bring the sizing up a little bit to get rid of all the background. And there you have, whoops, do a little more size in here. And there you have a stabilized shot. Hope it was helpful. Appreciate the questions in the comments section below. If you found this to be helpful, please share this with somebody else. If you like what you saw, hit the like button below. Subscribe if you want to see more content on this channel. And any questions, comments, tips, tricks, or other things you want to leave in the comment section below, it's much appreciated and does help the channel out. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it was helpful. We'll see you soon.